Welcome back, guys. Today, there is not a lot going on in this episode, but I decided to include it so we could take a look at Tangled Tree. And also because we're waiting for GJ to grow up or age up. He still has not done that. They're still all three looking at this pretty little chocolate cake with candles. Rona, Rona. And we are still awaiting GJ's birth of his out of this world baby. What do you think it's going to be, boy or girl? Any predictions? We shall soon see. I believe he's well into his third trimester, but I don't think he's going to have baby this episode. But we shall see. Yes, Mom, I want to play poker, and apparently that did not please him too well. This is such a cute kid. I like this kid. Oh. Tangled fruit. What a tangled web you weave. When first you set out to see. I know that's not. Then we've actually found something Soda that pleases Miss Zoe. Apparently, her Wanda. children make her yeah. very happy and playful, and look at her mood. Totally different woman. <laughs> this whole time, she's been moody, grouchy, tense, oh, upset. Yes, we want to take a picture of our son. And I eventually could get them the photography equipment to do that could be another job skill for Zoe. Then we could take some pretty cool pictures of the family from up on the wall of each generation. Or we could use the easel. The paint by reference it has to be one of my favorite upgrades. Or update items. Oh, what a picture to take of your kid. Let's take a look at that paint from reference. Large. And it's going to let you take a picture of something around your sim. Anything. Okay, you're not facing us. And you're not facing us. I guess we're doing a profile picture. So you snap the picture of what you want them to paint. And depending on their skill level will depend on how Thank clear God. the picture is. But right away you can see what happens. Or get an idea. But I do think we'll pick a picture of each generation that Aaron, the founder, and all the way up to 10 generations, eventually we'll have like a long wall that displays them all for a library. Huh. The little boy's happy. He doesn't have much to do though. All we've been able to buy him is a little bed and two little toys right now. We got him a helicopter and a little robot. So he can go play with the action figure. I believe, not robot. I keep saying all the wrong things, I know. This is your brain on Sims. Put that away. And in a couple more episodes, we'll get some paint and change the house up a bit too. I only have like, I believe two more before we are able to do that and record some more. Because I tend to play for a long time and get enough recordings to do many episodes. But I'm trying to wait in between children now to give everyone a chance. If you want to make suggestions, I do, or am paying attention to that. I just need to be better at giving you more time to actually respond before I record more. Yeah, it looks like she's almost done with our painting. <laughs> and she's got the inspired moodlet. We're going to frame it and we need to put it somewhere. No, I don't really like it there. It looks stupid. 
Baribi, Downsay, Bruhana, Seneca, Pathar. What about up here? My bluff. No, it's a little bit too tall. Too close to the ceiling. Here, go on this wall. Why won't you go on this wall? There you go. Go on the wall. Such a nerd. There, now we have a picture of our founder and our first generation. <laughs> and because he's first, it should be the biggest picture, so each generation will make him a little smaller, too. Where are you going, Tangled? With your little action figure man. Oh. We'll just pop him right there. Where anybody can take it. Buribi Damsay. Buma Samsung. And we're still looking at chocolate cake. What's in the cake? Nobody wants the cake. Who poisoned the cake? That's a joke, people. Okay, I want them to go ahead and have another baby because I just think this little boy is so cute. I don't <laughs> think they're gonna have that many in the first generation because we just don't have anywhere to put them. And we can't support them too many children right now. So, depends on how the story goes. So let's go see if we've got another baby coming because this will make three when GJ has his baby. Oh! Look at your hat! That is so precious. I love your pajamas already. Sometimes the game puts the, the children in the dumbest clothes ever. It's like, really? Even Pippi Longstocking wouldn't have won that. And I love Pippi. I want to be Pippi when I grow up. Love Pippi. Oh, yay! Baby number two for Zoe. Yes. Thank you, GJ. I am needing a younger heir, a female younger heir with green hair and green eyes like Daddy to be our founder. So we have the perfect genetics and legacy to work on. I did post the rules I'm following in the, pre in the first episode, but I've also posted the pictures on my Facebook page of the air law, the blood law, gender law, species law that I'm using <laughs> to pick airs because I think it makes it more interesting. And we've been looking at this stuff on the ground for a while, so I want to make him plant three flowers that have been sitting there and plant a couple other things because he also wants to get a garden going, or a legacy garden going. And to help support themselves. Save money on food. And eventually they can make potions and whatnot, but we need to send them on vacation to get bugs. I really wish they'd open that up. I see pretty little monarch butterflies everywhere, but you can't catch them unless you go to Granite Falls. And it's nice that you made that all inclusive with that package, but once you have the package, it should open up the insects in every town you already have. Because there's still reasons to go to Granite Falls, besides just the insects. That's one of the best packs for The Sims 4 yet. And I, I've played with it, and I still haven't opened up everything with it. I still haven't found all the bugs. I do notice I get a lot in the deep woods where the hermit is, but that tends to be the lunar moss and those weird light whip o wisps. But the entrance to where you crawl through the tunnel to get to the hermit in the deep woods, I get the bees and ladybugs, I believe. So and praying mantis even, but I can't find the other ones as easy. Well, now our birthday cake is rotted, so no one's going to be eating that. And look at your hat, dear. How cute are you? Yes, I'll be upset eating that rotten food, too, so turn on your TV and eat your nasty fish tacos that are green. 
The one thing that was cool for me was the food movements. I did like accidentally fake poisoning people on Sims or making the love meals, but I'm busting out. And even and the boat house, that was one of my favorite levels that you had to get to. Wink! Luna! Aw, oh, hi daddy. Just clean up your rotten cake. I don't know why he is not aging up, people. He's supposed to do this on his own. Aging is on. We made him a cake, put candles on it, and he still didn't eat it. I'd be hungry too, Tangled, after you try to eat rotten ass fish tacos. Let's order a pizza. GJ is very, very happy. He's always happy. He's easy to please. But we also need to get them out of the house for a change of scenery. I feel like all I'm showing you is their fixed rubber. But we've been, I've been kind of lagging, waiting for this space baby. I would imagine that food was gross. Oh, They're both pregnant and so lovey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. He said. Oh, me too. Every time you get your wife pregnant, you're pregnant. Well, he's been pregnant both throughout both of her pregnancies. <laughs> I mean, they're living on $843 and have two more children coming. Yeah, it's clean. Somebody needs to clean that toilet. Mm -hmm. Go away. Then you can go sleep in your tent. We kicked the parents out of their bedroom to put the children in there. So they are now sleeping outside until we earn more money to make them a room. Go to bed. Go to bed. Come on, little Miss Prego. Go to bed. Tangle. White leg. Don't need to be playing chess. Look at the time. You have school tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Go to bed. With that little hat that was so cute. Night night time. And I don't know why we're just staring at Tangled Fruit going to sleep, but there we go. Flash forward to the next morning. Everybody's awake and about, I believe. And he wants cupcakes. Oh, we'll work on getting that cupcake machine or baking. If I don't forget, look at TJ. So pretty. So hungry. Where'd you get that cake? Please don't be nasty, Cake. Well, see you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.